Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. And I'm so happy to be here. You guys are my last reading for the monthlies. I just always feeling I want to pop a bottle of bubbly champagne to celebrate. <laughs> but we'll celebrate with a nice candle. I haven't had this one before. For those of you that are new, this is a candle from Intuitive Candles. Um, and the 100% soy-based two-wick candles with a 40-plus hour clean burn. Every scent you can think of they have, plus other things. They do those melty things and all that. And when the wax melts down, you're left with beautiful, beautiful reveals, kind of like the Trees of Life. I have like three of them. And then there's chakras as well. And um, pendulums, my red carnelian, that's Lilith. Lilith. And um, they're beautiful. They're, these candles are addictive and they're fun. Running a promo code right now. Use promo code BOFF and the number 10. Stands for Bay of Fundy Fortunes and 10. What it is is you get 10% off your order. All this. They've been running it for a little while now, the last two or three months. So I imagine they're going to be pulling it soon. So I would get that in there if I would. They ship international. They're everywhere all over the world. You want to order them. They'll mail them. Doesn't matter if you're in the Ar Arctic or where you are. So anyway, yeah, I think that's it for them. There, I think. I think. All right. Um, shuffle. Okay, this is a general reading, which may or may not resonate with all of you. All right, just so you know that those new to the uh, tarot community have no idea really what's going on, and you'll hear a lot of us saying that when you tune in. Okay, it's a general reading. It'll apply to some and not apply to all. This is a five-card spread. Your very first card is your overall energy for the month of October. Your um, second card is your wealth and your finances. Your third card is your hearth, your home, your love. Anything is close like that. And your fourth card are your challenges for October, should there be any. And your fifth card is your message from spirit. going to give them one more run through and then I'm going to cut the deck. Consult with Lilith. As this deck stands are the top five cards, the cards that are meant for the October 2018 general reading for the sign of Virgo are these Virgo's cards oh she's running nice tonight it's almost a shame that you guys are the last ones she's working great thank you so much Lilith you can rest for the night now you can sleep it off there you go <laughs> I'll pull the camera down here a bit okay let's see I'm gonna lay your cards all right, um, your overall energy for the month of October. We're looking at, oh, nice, the chariot movement. <coughs> Excuse me. Your second card, your wealth and finances at a crossroad, two of swords. Interesting. I haven't seen these cards in a while. Card number three, your hearth, your home, and love. The Ten of Swords, endings. Your challenges for October. Judgment, self-reflection. The readings are so freaking intense this month. They really are intense. Your last card, card number five, and your message from spirit. Wonderful. You got the king of the ocean, and he's all about order. And that is your five-card spread for October 
No matter how fast I go, how fast I talk, we're always five to six minutes in before I turn a card. And I'm sorry for that, but this way it goes. You know, if you know how to scroll ahead, you don't have to watch the smudge and all this other stuff and the candle and all that. You can go right to the reading. Just scroll ahead. Okay. <clears throat> what am I forgetting here? Nothing, I hope. Your very first card, your overall energy here. Um, Virgo is you've got the chariot and it's all about forward movement not just movement it's forward movement it's um, a card of very very high energy it's not a card of sensitivity at all so some of you may have been held back for a bit wanting to wanting to make that move wanting to start getting something like your life into into action work-wise financially Wanting that and you were held back and now you got the green flag or the green light It's go time and you can't get there fast enough When we get caught up in that kind of um, passion and excitement We're so focused on that. We don't Maybe not quite aware um, Even a little bit of the people around us. So you could put some noses out of joint if you're not careful um you know, you come back and everybody's standing there with their arms folded. And you're like, what? You have no idea? you got to be mindful. Mindful of that, all right? Be very careful. This is a wonderful card if you play it right. Okay? Um, this, is the, this is the green flag, the green light that's saying, go ahead. You can move forward with your plans now. That's the beauty about this card. Um, but just watch your ego. Don't get cocky about it. Don't get full of yourself. Remain neutral or humble. Doesn't hurt. Be grateful. Put that up there to the universe. Enjoy this time of power. And enjoy this time of motivation. And enjoy this time of movement going forward and growth. It's a fantastic thing. Um... Your keywords for this card are journeys, determination, willpower, progress, some friction, keeping it real, guidance, and protection. That's your overall energy. It's going to be basically, to sum it down, it's going to be a whole lot of stuff going on for you in October. A lot of movement. Things happening. No more talking about it. No more thinking about it. You know, all that's done. Now you're moving. Action. Okay, that's really good for you guys. Card number two, you're at a crossroads here with your find. This could be job related. This could be contract related as well. Um, trying to make a decision. And there's no right or wrong choice here. It's just what's going to work better for, for you or um, anybody that's concerned here and involved. You're looking here at... Um, Two options and you can see the swords are identical which is um, example of the power being equal the two choices they're equal there's not one more than the other and you're dissecting you're dissecting these things this has to do with money absolutely it has to do with contracts jobs um, and you, you know <laughs> You're very lucky you have options. You have two choices. You're at a crossroads. Are you going to go left? Are you Are going to go right? Um, it was easy up to that point. You just had the straight and narrow. And now there's this fork in the road. Um, you need to listen to your intuition to start with for that. Um, The, the advice of the card, we'll go right to that. The advice of the card, if you can't make a decision and you're a deadlock, you say they're equal, they're the same. I don't know what to do here. I can only have one. I can only pick one path. 
Um, I'm sorry, got a brain freeze. Um, walk away from it. Walk away from it for a little bit, just for a little bit. Get your mind on something else. Focus on something else for a while. I don't care if it's for an hour or for two days. Whenever you feel compelled, okay, I'm ready to try this again. You're going to get a fresh approach. You may see some things, clues to kind of push you or sway you to one way or the other. Um, and you'll come back with this fresh attitude, looking at it like you have for the first time, but you're going to notice something different about one. That's going to make the break right there. You're going to choose right there but that's that's the advice you just need to walk away we get too consumed and we can't see our nose in front of our face we're looking everywhere you know and um it's just an expression so there there's that and um there's a there's a good chance for a breakthrough here for you as well whatever that road is that you choose there's a there's a breakthrough along that road for you in the best of ways um you're gonna have your you're gonna have your doubts right what ifs don't worry about that never mind about that um but the decision is the biggest part once you make the decision it's easy after that because it just shows you at a deadlock um yeah that's it for that card your next card your hearth and your home tens are all about endings as this card that is the specific prompt on it as well the tens in general are completion reaching the end of a goal or a target moving you know waiting things out waiting for them to end wanting something to end it covers every aspect of what an ending could be it's different for everybody but with this card here, what it brings forward right off for you, Virgo, is the ending of a relationship. And this relationship could be a strong friendship as well, or it could be a long-term relationship with your job, right? Or your boss, or something like that. It's something major that's a big player in your life every day. It's ending. It's over. There's going to be a bit of drama. There'll be some tempers flared. There'll be some tears. Um, you're going to walk away feeling in shock. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? But then all of a sudden, you think for a second, you take a breath in your brain. It's like catches that oxygen and goes bing. There's a sense of relief. It's shock followed by relief. At first it was like, what the? And then, you know, and then you think about it for a minute, and then it's like, hold on a minute. <laughs> this isn't a bad thing. This is a good thing in disguise. Um, you're going to be seeing reality for what it really is. Uh, my favorite thing is that it, it is what it is. I mean, you can't argue with something. Um, but the situation you were in, if it was a job, if it was a relationship, it wasn't evolving. There was no growth, especially in a job. You know, if you've got ambitions, you don't want to be in a place where there's no growth. There's no nowhere to go. There's no room. You'll always be what it is that you're doing. Um, and maybe you stuck it out for a long time. You develop relationships um, and the whole nine yards. And you just say, I'm walking away. It could be for somebody you snap on the job, not planned. That's it, I'm done, and I'm leaving. Drama. Maybe supervisor or boss coming down on you for something, you've had enough. And you walk, and you're in shock. You're going, this is not how I planned my day when I woke up out of bed this morning. <laughs> Was to have a meltdown and go postal at work and cause a big scene and walk off. That was not what you had, but that is what happened. And then you're relieved. You're going, you know what, this this is this is probably for the better is how you're going to be feeling. You're not you're only gonna be down for a couple minutes and it's gonna be this for the better. This has to be for the better. I feel better. I feel relieved knowing I don't have to go back there tomorrow ever. I'm done. 
that's terrible to feel that way about where you work because where we work takes up more time in the run of a day, 8 to 12 hours of our day. It's half our day, half of our days. And then we sleep for eight hours or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, here's the advice for you. Just walk away when it goes down. You're going to laugh about this later. For however this is meant for, you're going to laugh about it because somebody's going to have a meltdown. They've reached the end of the rope and it's a real quick snap. Um, but walk away. Just let it go. Focus on your now and let go of what happened 20 minutes ago. Let it go. Just let it. Don't let it eat you up. Don't let it haunt you. You're gone. You're out of there. Move on. Move on. Move on. Um, your keywords are endings and release and drama, transformation, victimhood, truth, and shock as well. Things might get for those of you that have a family at home. If you're the, the, the adult, the parent, the spouse, and you do this, that could cause some rockiness at home. Um, so you need to expect that. But you know what? It's not going to last for long. You're not going to be out for long, but you don't have to go back to whatever it was that was stifling you. Your next card we're looking at is judgment and self-reflection. And that's your challenge. Getting past what has happened. Um, telling yourself, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving forward. And I don't want that past. You may go back into the past to take care of some unfinished business. There may be some things you need to take care of before you can fully move on. If that's on your anal side. That's the perfectionist there with Virgo because they like everything has to be completely in order. Everything has a place of its own. This is supposed to be there. That's supposed to be here. And that's and if there's unfinished business, there's no way they can't Virgo can't move on. It's impossible. They've got to go back and tie up those loose strings and taking you may find some of you may find yourself doing that. Um, you're going to sit and take stock of your life. Um, some of you may be thinking about getting business for yourself. That could be part of what's going on here. Um, to go from being an employee to an employer is a big step, you know? You're taking stock of everything, of where you've come from. This is where you're going to gain your strength from. Because starting your own business is no easy feat, no matter how small it is. There's a lot of growing pains. But you're going to look back in your past and where you came for some of you. It came from nothing, you might say, right? And look how far you've come. You've pulled yourself out of that, the poverty, wherever you've come from. Um... Not that rich people can't be miserable. They can. They can lead horrible lives too. But you look back, that's where you're going to get. You're going to go, look what I've been through. Look where the hell I've been through. I'm surprised I'm still alive after everything I've been through. This is just starting a business. It'll be a challenge, but it'll be fun. And I'm open to learning new things. It's a sense of excitement that goes along with this. You're clarifying everything with yourself. You've got to be okay with yourself before you take this on. Everything has to be in balance. Everything has to be in order because that's what Virgo's all about. Um, you could be feeling a stronger connection to your spirits and guides as well. And some of your loved ones that may have passed on, you may be feeling... Just that their presence is there and you're holding on for some reason. Um, that's their way of telling you, we're here with you. Go for it. Live your life while you're here. Live it, live it, live it, live it. They're happy where they're at, but they have all the answers and we don't, right? So we do what we feel, what we hear. And if it's live it, then start living. Um, your keywords here are memories spiritual, uh, spirituality, a review of your life, the self-judgment, a 
contemplation. A lot of heavy thinking going on here. Things you got to work through. But like I say, you're Virgo. Now this card, this card's all about re restoring order. There's Virgo. <laughs> you know, right there. We've got the king of the ocean. And he is the king and he does. He rules. He rules. This energy is very strong. Very powerful. Subtle. It's strong and powerful without being braggart. Do you know what I'm saying? He stands and he speaks. He has an aura, that energy um, of putting everything to right. That could go for people that you maybe been on the outs with a little bit. Go back and try to make things right. That's the least you can do. And if they're not interested, at least you tried. You can put that to bed now. It's not your problem anymore. It's nothing to bother you anymore. You did the right thing. Always try to do the right thing. Um, he's all about that loyalty. Committed. Um, he brings order after much chaos. That's usually when he shows up. He shows up. And when I say he, I mean the energy of him and what he represents shows up in your life. It gives you the coping skills you need to get through anything that um, if there's a path of distraction behind you, he's come to help clean up the mess and put everything as it should be. Order and balance are going to be restored to your life, Virgo, so you can relax and you can calm down and breathe. Um... Setting boundaries again. Almost every reading, there's been a card, and the and that's come across. The people are setting boundaries. They're drawing the sand, the line in the sand, and and um, everybody's a, in, introspective. Everybody's there's so many changes with the readings. Every one of them was just so heavy, and you could, I could just, it was almost palpable to touch it. it people doing a lot of soul searching. And trying to figure themselves out and where they're going. There's a lot of that going on in October. But um, setting boundaries again, as I said, most of you guys all got that. And setting an end to disputes is uh, something as well. Trying to make everything calm, in order, proper, right, controlled, right? Have everything under control just the way you desire. So... Your um, advice for this card is to get to work on your finances and your home. And um, get your home in order. Most most Virgos would be offended by that. Their homes are in order. Their homes are meticulous. Protect your assets. That would mean don't be silly and leave things laying around for someone to steal or get into look in investments or insurance. Is there something you've been meaning to put some insurance on? Um, go ahead and do that. Now it's time to look into it for you. Um, the advice is you have the power, so focus. And focus on protection and focus on wisdom as well. That you, you know the difference. You know better. You know what the right choices are. Your keywords are organization, <laughs> um, authority, leadership, and boundaries. And all oh my dear Virgos, wow, I am done. I am spent. Where's that champagne? Where's that glass of bubbly? I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you got something from it. There, I'm drained. If you want a private reading with me, check down below the window in the show more section. You'll see a little write up of a little touch of what it's like. Send me the email that you see there and we'll take it from there. Also, um, we have a group on Facebook for those that are non Facebook haters. We are on Facebook and um, we're under groups Bay of Funny Fortunes, of course, of course. And um, it's a closed and private group. And it's a beautiful, and everybody says it's just wonderful, but they love the atmosphere and the energy of the room. It's very soft. It's very kind. It's very knowledgeable. It's very real. It's beautiful. Come and join us. Anyways, um, anybody else, if you're looking for me and I'm not here, you find me down on the beach along the cove there, walking along the water's edge, 
watching the tides roll in and the tides that come in are the highest on the whole planet and um, that's where my heart is and that's where my soul is it doesn't matter where you find me chances are you'll always catch me waiting on the next change of tides because they're beautiful in or out high or low and it's a bountiful bountiful bay it's full of life anyways I wish you all the best for the month of October peace since you can share that light and that love out with everybody and uh, you could change somebody's day smile at a stranger today open a door for someone today maybe they'll pay it forward the butterfly effect um, so that's about it all I can say to you is I wish you the best peace out <laughs> bye for now